Welcome to this demonstration video of TrueView Global. Today we'll be talking about the administration area of TrueView Global. Once you log on to your TrueView Global site, you can get into the administration area by clicking the administration icon in the upper right. Once you click on to this icon, you're in the server administration area. Be aware that the administration icon will not show up unless you yourself are an administrator. So you have several choices to pick from here. The first one here is Manage Users. So you can just go ahead and click on it and you enter the Manage Users site. This allows you to do several things on a user level. You can determine who an active user is. You can check inactive users or who currently is logged on. In active users, you can change the password of a user. You can also click on the user itself and you can see their settings. You can also change their level or their role and whether they're enabled or not or whether they're active. And then you can go ahead and save changes. You can also add a new user and fill out the appropriate information and just save changes in the end. All of the help file on this reviews all of the current settings for the add new user panel and all of the options. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the administration panel and then go to customize. So these are all new tools here um, that you see in terms of the new version of TrueView Global. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and click on customize. It's kind of exciting features. This, in this customization section, you can see here the status of the customizations. So the first one here is site address. Now it brings up a dialog that allows you to type in a custom site address that if you've actually gone ahead and purchased a uh, web URL from a domain company, instead of the IP address or another address you might have for TV Global, you can purchase a site address as an example. It could be company ABC and then you could say, you know, trueviewglobal.com and then you could say OK. If you purchase the domain, this is how you would then apply the domain to your TrueView Global site. So that's site address. In this next section, we'll be talking about setting the home page or the look of TrueView Global when people first enter the site. So go ahead and click on set home page. And you can see people will either end up on a logon landing page or they'll end up with a welcome page with public sites that show the icons and descriptions and large images of all of the public sites that are available. So if we go ahead and click this and it'll say it'll change the look from this to this then we say OK. So what happens the next time you go to TrueView Global and let's go ahead and go all the way down to where we're just going to go ahead and enter the site And as you can see, when you come in to the landing page, before you logged in, instead of seeing the All Sites version of it, you will see all the public sites that are outlined here. And you get nice large icons with a description and an image of each of the sites that are available. So you can change the look of the landing page in the customization section of TrueView Global. Next, you can click on Set owner information. When you set the information here, the name of the company, let's just say, company ABC, and then you can put their official email, your contact phone, and so forth, state, region, you know, zip code, and whatnot, and then say OK. OK, you can see that. When you go to the login page, you'll see company ABC up here. And there's other places on the site that will show more of the ownership information that you typed in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign in again. And go to the Server Administration tab. In this last section, we're going to talk about the custom logo that can be applied to the TrueView Global website. So go ahead and click Upload Custom Logo icon. And as you see by default, the custom logo shown here is just blank and you can add your company logo here. So what you can do is browse or drag and drop a logo 
I'm going to go ahead and browse here and then go down and lo and behold, I'll pick a Leica logo. So go ahead and click upload that. So it's going to go ahead uploading and it's going to say image uploaded and this is what it looks like. Okay. And so once that's set, and you can see here new custom settings saved and, and activated, you can go into all sites and then you can go ahead and check out this information here and the new logo will now appear in all of the true views that are opened and you can see down here in the corner that the logo is located right here and this logo will show up in all of the true views so when you go to your next true view it'll show up right down in the corner there okay and you can use alpha channel so there's no white or any background at all basically any um, uh, image file that's 250 by 250 which is around the file here or you can upload a larger one it'll be cropped down to size. Customize logo can be changed at any time just go ahead and click your customize icon go back in the customize logo and then upload another one at any time. Okay. All right and so the next item here that is um, new for this edition of TrueView Global under Server Administration is Backup. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And under this area, you can create a backup or restore a backup. And you can say no backups are available. You know, no backups have been created yet. So you can go ahead and say create a backup. Now you can create a backup of the scans and site right or just user data that would just be all the users and all their settings or a full data scan and site and user backup so I'm just going to pick this and click OK and you can see here submitting background request and it says you can go to the action queue to see the process of the backup so it's already finished right so it happens pretty quickly um, but if you did want to go ahead and see that you can just go to the All Sites page, Action Queue, here, and then you would have seen it, and you see it here, I'm sorry, you see it here, it already got sent to the Action Queue, and you see it's in progress. As soon as it's finished backing up, it will tell you in this Action Queue area, as well as you will see a backup available in the Customizations page. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the server administration page and go to the backup area okay so back in the create backups area we can see here that the backup I, I created is now available and this backup can be restored right away. It can be deleted. Or you can download it so you're not keeping your backups on the server. You can actually back them up on another machine. If you have backups that you have on, on another location besides what's on the list here, you can go ahead and click this icon and then browse to where those backups are. And the same thing applies um, as if we were backing up from a local file. You would just pick the file and then click OK and then it would restore the full backup. Again you can backup users only or only your data or both. The backup utility inside of TrueView Global. Okay so I'm going to go back here to the administrations tab. Alright and then I'm going to click over to the logs area. Once we click into this, this shows you the logs of everything that's happening inside of the uh, TrueView Global. And this is a great way to diagnose if something um, is not working right, if something didn't upload properly, um, and just it tells you everything that happened. So this action, it, it shows that the backup tasks we've just done, it shows the compressing of files during the backup, and it also shows your action queue, what things are currently queued for action. Nothing's queued right now. So this is a great area to check um, on everything that's happening under the sheets inside of TrueView Global. In this next section, we're going to talk about notifications. 
So go ahead and click on the notification area inside of the server administration page and it will open up and will show you the default information. So this is the area where you set up notifications to the TrueView Global users and administrators. And as soon as you hit the landing page here, you can see that the custom settings or the settings that you will set here are outlined here in the entrance area. So to set up SMTP settings, go ahead and click SMTP settings. It brings up the edit SMTP connection info and you're going to go ahead and set up your SMTP server host information, port, and then secure connection types, authentication, username, password, and the email. Basically all of the settings needed for the SMTP server to send out emails to your users. And once you click OK, and it's not going to happen here, but you will see a test um, notification in this area that will let you know that the server is set up and is ready to go. So once the SMTP server is set up, then you can continue to the user notification icon. You can go ahead and sign up for user notifications. All users will get these notifications um, if you have them selected to receive notifications. So you can have them you know when accounts created, account fully created, password changed, account deleted, um, and data set ready. So you can actually take out these notifications so, so people don't get a lot of notifications and then pick the ones you want from a list. Right? And say OK. You can say event selection is saved and is now active. Right? So you can say, so you can pick one account fully created add, okay, and then data set ready, add, and then you can just save those settings. So the other type is system notifications, and these notifications will only be received by the administrator, and these are far more, um, the selection is far greater, but you have more uh, capacity to understand, like, what's going on, uh, restore failed, restore complete, backup ready, and so on. So more administrative level notifications. Again, you can take them out of the list and then add them back in just by clicking Add. By default, they're all on. So you will receive notifications based on your SMTP server settings. And again, these settings are all listed in the front when you first enter this page. It will tell you what your default settings are for that. So that's notifications. All right. Next, we, next in the administrator area updates. You can go ahead and it'll tell you right away whether TrueView is up to date, what version you're at, when it was released, when your maintenance runs out on your licensing. So you can click this and say check now and also say update now. So you can check and it's going to go checking for available updates. If there is one, you can go ahead and choose to do it. Okay, and then you can go ahead and if there is one available you can go ahead and just say update now and then it will update to the most current version of the software. All right, back over to the administration panel and last but not least is licensing. This will tell you your, your license status, whether it's enabled, how many users you have, your expiration date, and your license uh, server information. This is basically where the server a licensed computer is where you have your CLM license server computer. Usually it's local host but it could be any other server. So the server name gets entered here and click OK and then you can click here to acquire the license once you have your server set up. You just click that and it'll acquire the license. So the license acquired successfully. New license being applied to the server. So those are all the new tools and functionality inside of the server administration queue um, and you have a choice of all of these types of customizations to manage your users, customize logos, make backups, update, licensing, and notifications.